Hey, tech fam, Josh here from Keep It Techie, where I teach people Linux and help others break into the tech field. And today I'm tackling one of the biggest questions I get asked all the time on my channel. What's the best Linux distro for beginners? Let's face it, getting started with Linux can feel intimidating. There are hundreds of distros out there and it's hard to know which one is right for someone just starting out. That's why in this video, I'm sharing my top three beginner friendly Linux distros for 2024. I've carefully chosen these based on ease of use, community support, hardware compatibility, and of course, how much they simplify that first Linux experience. So stick around because my number one pick is an absolute game changer this year. Let's get into it. Now, before we dive into my pick, let's quickly talk about what makes a Linux distro beginner friendly. First, you want simplicity, a distro that doesn't overwhelm you with complex setup processes or commands. Next, it should offer great community support. So you've got plenty of help if you hit a wall. And finally, hardware compatibility is key. Nothing kills excitement faster than installing Linux and realizing your Wi-Fi doesn't work or that nice graphics card that you have installed doesn't work. With those criteria in mind, let's break down my top three beginner-friendly Linux distros for 2024. Hey y'all, Josh here from Keep It Techie. Real quick, let's talk about Rocky Linux. This distro is the real deal if you're looking for a solid enterprise-ready Linux solution. It all started after Red Hat dropped CentOS and Gregory Kurtzer, the OG co-founder of CentOS, brought us Rocky Linux as a tribute to his late friend, Rocky McGough. This is community-driven, open-source software at its finest, and it's already making waves. Rocky Linux 8.10 is out now, giving you that enterprise-grade stability without all the Red Hat licensing headaches. So whether you're running a home lab or a full-on data center, Rocky's got your back. So if you want to keep it open source and keep your data secure, check out Rocky Linux. The link's down in the description of the video. It's built by the community, for the community, and it's here to stay. Stay techy, y'all. Now, I'll be counting down. And coming in at number three is Linux Mint, a classic favorite for beginners. I mean, if you're coming from Windows, Mint feels like home. The Cinnamon desktop environment has that familiar taskbar and start menu layout, making it super easy to transition. Also, Mint gets major points for its stability. It's built on Ubuntu LTS, which is the long-term support release. So you're getting a rock solid base. Plus the software center has seen improvements this year, making it easier than ever to install apps. And let's not forget, it's light on resources. So it runs smoothly, even on older hardware. So in my opinion, Linux Mint is perfect for anyone who just wants a reliable, beginner-friendly experience without too many bells and whistles. Now, at number two, we have Zorn OS. Now, this distro is all about polish. It's visually stunning with an interface so clean it could rival Mac OS or Windows. But Zorn doesn't stop there. It has a unique layout switcher, so you can choose an interface that matches your comfort zone. One of the things I love about Zorn is how much effort the developers put into catering to beginners. It even has a dedicated light version for older PCs, so you can breathe new life into older hardware. Oh, and I didn't mention it's great for gaming. Zorn works seamlessly with tools like Steam, and Proton, making it beginner friendly for gamers too. So if you want a distro that's as beautiful as it is functional, Zorn OS is a fantastic choice. And finally, for my number one pick, drum roll please, for the best beginner Linux distro in 2024, is none other than Pop! OS by System76. This distro continues to impress year after year and 2024 is no exception. So let me break it down for you. First, the Cosmic Desktop environment is a game changer. It's fast, clean, and customizable, but not so much that it overwhelms you. This year's System76 rebuilt Cosmic in Rust, making it even smoother and more reliable. Pop! OS also stands out for its hardware compatibility. Whether you're using NVIDIA, AMD, or Intel, 
It's got you covered with built-in drivers. That means no headaches trying to get your GPU working. It just works. And let's not forget the tiling window manager. For beginners, this feature makes multitasking feel effortless. I mean, once you try it, you won't want to go back. I mean, Pop! OS doesn't just stop at being user-friendly. It empowers you to level up your Linux skills. And so it's my top pick for beginners who want to grow into power users over time. Now, there's one other thing I wanted to cover for all three of the distros, and let's talk updates. And all three of these distros, like I said, have seen improvements in 2024, but Pop! OS, to me, takes the crown. Now, Linux Mint has improved its software manager and system stability, which is great for users who value reliability. Uh, Zorn OS, you know, continues to refine its UI and compatibility, especially for gamers. But again, Pop! OS is on another level. I'm telling you that new Cosmic desktop updated Pop Shop and support for the latest Linux kernel 6.8 make it the most cutting edge option for beginners. And with these updates, Pop! OS isn't just beginner friendly is future proof and i'm not trying to just sell you guys on this i'm just giving you my honest opinion based on everything i researched about all these different distributions that i've done reviews on throughout the year and so that's it for today's video my top three beginner friendly linux distros for 2024 linux mint zorin os and my personal favorite pop os each of these distros has something unique to offer but if I had to recommend just one, Pop! OS takes the crown. And if you're new to Linux, don't overthink it. Just pick one and dive into it. The best way to learn is by doing. And no matter which one you choose, you're taking an amazing first step into the Linux world. Now, as always, if you found this video helpful, go down and hit that like button, share it with someone who's thinking about switching to Linux, and make sure you subscribe to Keep It Techie for more content like this. Until next time. This is Josh reminding you to keep learning, keep growing, and of course, keep it techy. Whenever I talk to people, whenever I mentor people uh, dealing with, you know, getting into tech, you got to figure out what you like or what you're interested in. Because, yeah, a lot of people get into the, you know, tech field because you can make a good amount of money. The money is the motivator. But you also, in my opinion, in order for you to be happy, you got to like what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? And so, like for me, a lot of times it doesn't feel like work, bro. Most times it really doesn't feel like work. It's, it's, yeah, I'm doing something fun. I'm doing something I love to do. You know what I'm saying? So that's what makes it, you know, great for me.